Alright, here we go. Time to go to the into the open boat. Open boat section. Let's go. Um. Just look at it all. It's so green. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. Holy. It may look that way, but in reality. It's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Walking. Pick a direction and start walking. <laughs> left, See? To left, to left, right. <laughs> He's got the right in. Not the time. Go. <laughs> I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Nope. Guess not. Let's go. That's holy shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna be exploring everything. This is bad. Very bad. Holy fuck, bro, it's still going. Yeah, this is gonna be. This is gonna be about 30 episodes. <laughs> bro, I just want. Oh my god, I wanna go everywhere. <laughs> I just can't believe I'm playing this game right now. Oh, so they, so they still fight. So Barrett fights from a distance. Hmm. Okay. Yep, it's a Mako. Pipeline. Moves Mako pumped in Midgard to the outlying towns and yep. whatever else. Huh. Could have guessed. You call it a pipeline, but I call it a funnel. <laughs> One that drains the planet's lifeblood and Oh, here we go again. How about we break it in half and stick one end in the ground? That way we'll really be given back to the planet. Yeah, but... No, yeah, I hate you. Genius one. <laughs> Go, good idea. The hell is that? What even is this thing? Satellite? Seems like something you could press, but... Guess not. What the fuck are you doing? I'm guessing it's gonna be for another... Maybe for Leo? Should we be worried about those things? We're fine. What things? How can you be so sure? What the day? Because I've. The fuck is that? Rabbit. I keep getting distracted. <laughs> Holy fuck! This place is huge. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna get distracted. <laughs> Stop getting distracted. Get to the destination. Okay. Um, so, uh, so it's been a day, and um, yeah. <laughs> All right, what the fuck do you want? You be the avalanche, folks. Yes. Okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shinra's forgotten. A swamp. There. Hmm. Is uh, uh, Shrek gonna be there? Bro, there's so much shit. Fucking hell. Just uh, things to do everywhere. What the hell is that? Go fight. Alright. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm not doing any damage to it. Ah, bump! Oh shit, what the fuck is that? What's that? What the fuck is that? I'm gonna go over there. Oh, a ruby! What's that? Dude. Alright, well, I mean, let's hope nothing falls. <laughs> oh, we're just back here again. Oh, man! Wait, how does Barrett climb? <laughs> uh, that, that's a bit, um... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, like... How does he climb? <laughs> Damn, there's a lot of shit here. Oh, there's more. Jeez, just tamed the hell out. Oh, there's more! There's so, there's so many places to go, man, and I haven't even gotten anywhere. <laughs> I knew I saw something here. Oh, music changing. Okay. Oh, purple. This sword looks nice. Sheesh. No sign of Shinra. Nope. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across, then head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? Ah, uh, fuck it. <laughs> Been through worse. It could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. Hell yeah! <laughs> this swamp. Bro, is on my life. Deadly Midgard swamp. Barra comes up with the best yeah. ideas. But even if you're <laughs> slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give oh. Bill the word, and he'll pick you out. A bird! Yeah, well, <laughs> let's go get a chicken. <laughs> well? Yeah, can yeah. Can we some birds? Can what we? The f <laughs> why, why are you asking me? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay, guess we're getting chickens. <laughs> okay, I'm calling them chickens. Ooh, windmill! Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Well, you, well, well, I see you. Fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to calm. Ah, oh, this guy. It. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. I won. The just... name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. That's crazy. <laughs> Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Mm hmm. Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies. You're probably wondering. Are what you just talking to them? Because the <laughs> like. With ease? Uh, I don't think they would know. Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float, while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the Convenient. dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing. Are they bite proof? Chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. Oh, Billy, he'll help you out. Goddamn Billy! No, I met Billy once. He's a good guy. I don't know why Billy's such a funny name to me. Billy, hi hey, Billy. Can I get some chickens? Billy, hi hey, Billy. Sam, you do look like a Billy. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But <laughs> you just punched them. <laughs> I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is ten grand each. Ah! <laughs> the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Bro, you think money grows on trees? <laughs> I have some. <laughs> 
There is one other option. Hmm. Only cost you a grand. All right. Is what a scoundrel might say. Fuck. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. Okay. You yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. Oh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> and he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> what the you fuck can start you mean? by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle them no problem. Oh, wow, well, creep up. That. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> this info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Reasonable. Need something? Uh... <laughs> ah, I could talk. Here serves all sorts of purposes, from the cosmetic to the practical. Can even improve a race bird's performance. Hmm. Won't cost you a gill. Golden plumes only. All right, partner. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at accents. All right, let me rob you. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. No, we I don't. Suppose, but. He's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Aren't you like really hot in those clothes? Say, <laughs> like... are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Yep. Um, not very well. Dumb bitch. But... <laughs> yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Dead. Six slum. <laughs> He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? <laughs> I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Brother? Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. <laughs> I don't know. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Okay, never mind. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh! Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Mm. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any gold like belly on you, fucking I can exchange chocolate them for Barbara. a chocobo. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. He already has, little bitch. Alright, well, let's go find this stupid right, chicken. Pico. Where'd you run off? Pico. I mean, I see a chest. I knew there was one around it. I can smell him. Rubbing people. Yeah. Oh, look. Great. Perfect. Alright. I see it. I see two, actually. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. But it's three. <laughs> Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah, but yeah. same thing applies. I played many stealth games, so they're just gonna leave me to the. Uh, don't mind me, stupid chicken. Okay, just don't move. <laughs> Stay there. All right, done it. Oh, he's gone to sleep. Oh, this one moves, little dickhead. Turn around. There you go, go to sleep, you little bitch. Can't see me. There's no... Can't see this massive sword. <laughs> Throw it. There. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a massive rock. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Where did you get that from? <laughs> I guess we must have picked it up or some shit. Aww, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? What? You know, 
Well, they are kind of similar. Totally. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. What does he want now? You might be onto something here. <laughs> Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Nah, he digging for certain. Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <laughs> oh. Well. Back to the ranch it is then. Yep. Come on. <laughs> Sick. Holy shit. Alright, we're back. Finally. Ah, there's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of <laughs> He really does look like him. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride. Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Mm. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come right to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? All right. Okay. Who the? F the oh, you again. <laughs> hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? I wish I didn't. <laughs> Yes. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Mm. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Mm -hmm. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what the f I was created hey. by Professor Hojo, you know. Hey. <laughs> Though your thoughts could be read by any no allowed. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. Mm-hmm. That's guessing. the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. We find any. We'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. So that's what they were. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. All right. And this will activate it. Yep, yeah, I was right. Well, as I'm the tower you just is like, close by, allow me to accompany you. Why'd you have to appear, man? <laughs> I had enough of you last game. <laughs> Made me go through that fucking stupid boss. Ooh. Mm. Mini game, perhaps? <laughs> nope. What the hell? Activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain yes, the locations so like of fiends and natural to reveal resources. The world. Only makes sense. How much of it? Oh, or maybe just like certain things. After okay. careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. Uh... I call it. Open world, world intel. Oh. <laughs> Help you assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. Of course. In return, I will use the information you provide Not. to develop new <laughs> These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon mm -hmm. in order to further their understanding of the planet. Mm. They scan for all manner of signals, mm. which in turn 
reveal myriad locations of interest, mm. such as long forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Mm. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. Mm. I must urge you to proceed <laughs> with caution though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Ah. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Um... What? <laughs> we have finished implementing a new one. The tower in Colossus oh, known shit. as Titan. E yeah, do I want to like. do that right now? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> if you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. I'm good. <laughs> My brain is in not working. <laughs> No, wait, I didn't wanna... <laughs> oh, there's all a bunch of shit. Combat training... Oh, actually, that's... No, yeah, I might actually do that. Shows me what they do. But I do kinda wanna do these. So I can understand what they do. Alright, well, I'm back. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. I know, I've realized that Red 13 is fucking broken. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But mm. first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. Just like that. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I us. haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Alright. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What Ooh. races? The gold Can saucers, I, I mean. <laughs> They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. Mm. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like right. making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico? Roger that. Alright, bitch. Let's go. Run! Surely you can go quicker than this. Ah, oh, there we go. Come on. Yeah, fucking enemy. It's gonna be way easier to get around. Holy shit. That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the gold saucer. Hmm. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by calm again. Nope. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Hmm. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? Mm -hmm. We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. True. <laughs> I heard you might need some help. You did? Yep. Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing Tell is, me about it. I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? Well, I mean, we've done it before, so... <laughs> Truth is, our parents died in an accident when I was really little. Oh. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Bele. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for dates. I would, but it's a gift. He's had to work so hard since we're on our own. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do something nice for him. Uh -huh. Of course. I promise you we'll keep it a surprise. I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason mom and dad died. Oh. That's what Billy says. I don't know. He always How? changes the subject. <laughs> really? How? You will? He did. The flowers <laughs> grow on a hill that's got I a mean... great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. I bet it was Thank you so much. I don't know, it doesn't really seem like he'd do that, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Oh, I was starting to worry. What? I thought you were here to fix them. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up, 
How can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Sparrow. Uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Mako pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. But they got scared. Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. I have an idea. <laughs> I feel like I know who exactly who it is. It makes me sick to my stomach to watch our supplies slowly dwindle like this. That's rough, man. But hey, good opportunity to wean yourselves off that poison. <laughs> okay, now that one was funny. <laughs> Barry, you said you're funny. <laughs> oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. I'll call you Fritz Bellinger. So you I'm don't know who he was talking about? Not a clue. Really? You're the only hotshot I know. <laughs> Most under city mercs don't go bragging about being ex-soldier. <laughs> Alright, dude. <laughs> Alright, dude. That's crazy, dude. Hey, how you doing? What? Hey, mister. You a winner? A winner? Some say. Awesome. That's good enough for me. What's that mean? Fash, and I could really use your help. All the sandwiches. The is, Sandwich. The Queen's blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a licking, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. Oh, one of the playing cards. The Chocobo and Moogle one. It's rare. And the one high value card in my whole deck. It was the only thing getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks, and that slimy bastard. Don't you think I would if I could? God! Please, I'm begging you, you've got to get it back before that asshole tries to sell it. All right, all right. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby's fate in the right hands. Mind if we go around? Ah! Oh. <laughs> all right, fine. We'll go around. About to get demolished. The queen bee, put him ready. Come on, what you got? Ooh, it's crazy. Do that, ha! Beat that bitch. Fuck. <laughs> so I just lost. Didn't see any of that. Alright, first round. Boom. Bitch. Ooh. Take that. And what? He may have won this, you know. <laughs> Actually. I won. <laughs> okay. That's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil no prop. That's the guy you gotta play. The one who took my card. Who works at the clock tower. Alright. Mind I'll be kicking his ass for me. Well, like, you're done, literally or back. in the gig? Because I think both. We're here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. So, Vash has resorted to this. Hiring people to win his games for him. Yeah. Put you. There you go. Now we go hella areas to use. I don't know what that does. Boom. Try me. Okay, he's won that. <laughs> Shit. Can I restart? There you go. That's it. Get yeah, one. Bitch. Haha. <laughs> yeah, you fuck, bro. Yeah, get fucked, bitch. <laughs> So better, so much better. Ah, damn, I really lost. It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and I are definitely gonna have to play again sometime. Ah, right, bro. But uh, not today. Gotta run. You're not going anywhere. Do you know who I am? So this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. All right, is that so? you're dying. <laughs> a guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. I know where that Maybe is. <laughs> check with him. A merc's job is never done. Am I right? Yeah, it's a fucking ugh. It's a wild goose chase. That's what that is. Can I go in now? 
Yeah. We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle cart. Of course you are. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that butte. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Mm -hmm. Unless you more than doubt. <sighs> all right, I'll tell you what. You beat me, and that card is all yours. You know, I don't think I can because my cards aren't good enough. <laughs> 500 kill. Fuck you know. Titan. Uh, <laughs> no, we'll get this one. And we'll get Titan. Because why not? Do you? Easy one. Doing the same thing. Why is it doing it on the corner? Okay. Might as well use him now. There you go. You weren't expecting that, huh? Boom. I mean, you're basically fucked, if I'm being honest. Ah, <laughs> you're fucked. You fucked. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going overboard because, like, I just want to show you how much better I am than you. There you go. Easy. I won. Humiliation. Right there. <laughs> you got some serious skills, son. Man, you made that real easy. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A game. I'm sure you will. Here. It's probably better off with you. Thanks. Really? What the fuck was the point? But only <laughs> until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. <laughs> right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Right. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Hmm. Seven Feather, let me guess. Seven Heaven. Yep. Don't know if you heard of it, Joy. <laughs> Yeah, they maybe the Cosmo Candy. Don't you think? Sounds sure. familiar. <laughs> Thanks. It's your drink, Tifa. <laughs> you know, that was just what I needed. You knew you'd like it. Although apparently my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. Well, Tifa was so time. much so the guy flat out refuses to order it. <laughs> Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs, trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. <laughs> yeah, you'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. <laughs> You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't how, uh, you? How'd you, give, how'd you figure that out? Tender. Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> you figured that out okay. oh, real quick. <laughs> I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night with bells on. Promise. It's okay. Oh, she's happy now. Nice. Nice. So even if you do side missions, they go up, which is good, I guess. Alright, well, that's good. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card carrying member of the Association of Photography Official. Is that actually your name or if I get a shot of you? So like a posterity. Stage thingy. Oh, oh someone just went in front of it. <laughs> you got what it takes to be in front of the camera. I know, right? <laughs> Where did you guys get some? <laughs> Where did you guys get them? Right, let's go. Yeah <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> I don't need no car. When you got chickens. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Current. Okay, well, um. Then you know how to hold it. <laughs> there you go. Now it's fixed. No. <laughs> Alright, fuck off now. <laughs> These things really do be like bus ups. <laughs> Alright, I'll fuck up if I beat you, bro. <laughs> bro, this is oh, holy shit. His helicopter. Boom! Get fucked. Boom! There's a lot, holy shit. Wow, just look at all of them. I've never seen these kinds before. So, know which ones to pick? Yeah. I got this. Yep. Experience. 
your face says otherwise. Bro, like, we did this before. What are you on about? Good thing you've got me here. Alright. <laughs> sort of reminds me of when we picked flowers for the leaf house. Well, where did I get this from? <laughs> These hey, cool. that's a good find. Those symbolize familial love. Pretty spot on for yep. our purposes, wouldn't you agree? Exactly. Exactly what I... Um... Thought. <laughs> Ooh, now these are vibrant. So you like deep, passionate reds, do you? Shut up. <laughs> no. Wow, these smell heavenly. Definitely the right choice if you want something fragrant. Okay. I just knew you'd go for the foxtails. I swear, I can read you like a book. Well, I mean, it's not my fault I chose it last time. So cute and soft, too. Perfect for a flower crown. Okay. I'd actually go for the blue. Makes sense. That's a start, but we're definitely gonna need more. So you said. Uh, I think these would be fine. A few more couldn't hurt. I think yellow. We're gonna go with yellow, because it looks nice. It look good, look good, look good. Cloud's never been more invested <laughs> in this. <laughs> All right, that should probably be enough. Let's go get him to Chloe. Ooh, time to rub you again. Wow, look at all of these. Thank you. It was our pleasure. I'm kind of worried though. What if mine's not as pretty as Mom's? Well, lucky for you, I just so happen to be a florist. I'd be more than happy to help you put one together. Really? <laughs> we'll make two. Right, Cloud? What's the other one for? Look! You like? It's not the I actually look pretty good. But yeah, I do! Thank you so much, both of you. There's something I can help you with? Where'd oh, you come from? Here, for you. Oh, did you make this? Uh-huh. So? <laughs> Weirdly fits. <laughs> yeah. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd hear that word coming from Cloud's mouth.